tensing up a little here and looking back. His sore areas don't usually change very much, so it's not surprising here. Like I have all of these, you know, like front area massages. And he enjoys them for sure. Oh, that's what you want. Yeah. You can tell he's like, yeah, this is what is hurting. Duh. A little bit of heavy breathing, but he's like, he knows this is like gonna help him out. We're warming his muscles up. Good boy. Oh, good man. It's gonna be a little bit tough one. Good boy. Support the knee always. You can't just pay attention to like the one area that seems to be hurting. It kind of travels down and impacts everything. So like, I want to make sure I get his entire leg. So like I can feel like his little muscles back here on the back of his lower leg are definitely on the tighter side. Toes are usually neglected. As I'm pretty sure that his groin is part of what's bothering him. Doing those longer like stretches as well. He's become so tolerant of this. He would get up at first, and part of that is because we've been addressing the pain through medication as well. He's learned that the payoff is worth it, and so even if he displays that discomfort during, he'll let me know if it's like too much. I know when I was taking that class, a lot of dogs, you know, like um, surface level massages for the most part, like they don't necessarily like you to get real deep, but Hamilton really seems to like a deeper massage and responds to it and tolerates it, so he gets it. Good boy. The groin is where I've been noticing a lot of tightness. Yeah. Since he's lost weight, I can actually feel the muscle groups and like connective tissue a lot better under his, um, under his skin, which is nice. Oh, that was a little much. Yeah, he'll kind of do this like almost little gasp. Yeah, he's looking back at me with his little teepers. A little much. Let's just do some strokes. He's very, very clear communication wise of when he needs like a little bit of space to back off. The tail muscles also like working those, just like compressions. A sweet man. I know. I also do like lifting his skin. Like use my whole arm sometimes to just get like nice blunt compression. So good boy. Big stretch. You gotta say big stretch. Oh there we go. Good job. You can tell this is really tight and like uncomfy for him, but it's like it's kind of like when you're foam rolling. Like it's one of those hurts so good kind of thing. He requests massage a lot. I really didn't expect that out of it. Good boy. Yeah, a little tight there, baby. This is how I found all of his lumps and bumps. By just making this a regular practice. to tolerate like so much of my like BS. He feels really good. I have tried applying this to humans in my life and they were like, oh my gosh, you're good at this. Because Hamilton's a very good teacher and so is the instructor for um, soothing strokes. Starting to be mosquito season. Yeah. Does it feel good? Good. Finally. A little less used to me doing manipulating his front paws. Plus, he has the baggage of like nail trims and stuff, which he's gotten much better about, but for a long time it was like, don't touch my front feet. Yeah, getting that shoulder. He's so sweet. What is that? Can we roll over? Can we roll over, silly man? Here we go. Honey, you are being very silly. Look at his side, sweetie. <laughs> He's like, don't make me do it. I'm just trying to 
help? Come on, kiddo. What about this side, huh? Okay, you're like, fine. I didn't know that's what you wanted to do. I just thought you were gonna make me do stuff, Mom. <laughs> you are a dork. He's very much like Katahula. Like, I don't want to do anything that wasn't my idea. Yeah, this is this is tight over here. Don't chase the cat. I know that face. Lay down. Yeah, there we go. Oh. He's licking himself now. He's like, that was sore, whatever you just did, mutter. Is this just the side you need today? I can't remember which side is his um, slightly arthritic side. I have to look at his x-rays. Oh, good boy. There we go. Yeah, it's better. Right there, he's like, he's doing his little gasp where he like shows his teeth and like looks at me like with his little bottom teeth showing. And that's when I know I've hit a really sore spot. Um, yeah, I know, sweet man, it hurts. There we go. Working it diligently. I know. Good boy. He's so stoic, like, if I didn't know this stuff, I would not know he was in pain. It's not like he acts like it. Oh, I know, sweet man. I know. I know, baby. Does that help? Does it help or does it hurt? A little bit of both? Yeah. Is that about as much as you can tolerate today? We'll just do some nice pets. How about that? Yeah. And he will excuse himself sometimes if he's had enough. Is that all? You done? Yeah, you want a little bit more? Okay. We can just do some loves. He said, here's my butt. 